Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and this bad boy right here is the Samsung Freestyle, one of Samsung's latest launches fresh from CES 2022. The Freestyle is an impressively dinky portable projector which works as a standalone streamer, otherwise you can hook up your smartphone, your PC, whatever you fancy. The Freestyle is running Tizen 6.0 OS, you've got instant setup with keystone correction and autofocus, so it's bugger all effort on your part. Despite the dinky size, it can pump out a massive picture at full HD resolution. You've also got a 5 watt audio blaster in there as well with 360 degree sound. You've got far field mics for voice assisted support. All kinds of fancy pants shenanigans basically. So what I'm going to do is take you on a full on tour of the Samsung Freestyle, show you exactly what this dinky wee bugger is capable of. And a massive thanks to Samsung for sponsoring this hands on video. Cheers guys! So let's start with the design and of course portable projectors have been around for a while but the Samsung Freestyle is easily one of the more compact and lightweight efforts that I've clutched in my sweaty mitts weighing just 830 grams. This fist sized device with its curved form factor should slip into your luggage without too much bother. The stand part of the Samsung Freestyle is made from metal but then you've got a lovely rubbery soft touch finish for the body of the projector. And as you can see there you've got a swivel design for it so you can get that picture lined up wherever you want it. And by tilting this thing straight up you can even project an image onto the ceiling for when you're kicking back in bed or in the bath or something like that. You just want to watch a little bit of anime or something. And of course because this is a Samsung device you've got that lovely crisp white finish to it as well which pleasingly matches my desk. Just don't go spilling your vindaloo on it because that'll probably be a bugger to shift. And when the Freestyle goes on sale you'll have a choice of four different colours with more to follow later and Samsung is also planning on releasing a dedicated waterproof case and battery pack for the Freestyle. As for the port situation, well these are all housed over on this side of the Samsung Freestyle. Very straightforward, you've got your micro HDMI for provide an input, you've got your Type-C USB port which is for power and you've got a little mic switch just to mute those when you don't want them on. And yes you will have to have the Samsung Freestyle plugged in at all times when you are using it because there's no room in that very svelte frame for a battery but of course if you are using it out and about when you're not at home well you can just plug in some sort of power pack or portable battery in order to keep it juiced up. And that just happens to be exactly what I'm going to do right now. Alright so let's dim the lights and see this Wii Mode 4 in action. It even plays a merry little tune when it starts up, that's very cute. Now first of all, setting up the Samsung Freestyle, absolute piece of pie. You can do it using the bundled remote, otherwise if you've got your smartphone to hand you can just get Samsung SmartThings app and do it that way. It's pre-installed on most Samsung Galaxy handsets, otherwise you can just download it from the Google Play Store. And one of the major USPs of the Freestyle is that instant setup feature. Just point it at a wall and the projector's auto keystone correction and auto focus abilities mean you'll instantly get a crisp, fully aligned picture, no mucking about. Now as I mentioned before, the Samsung Freestyle does function as a standalone streaming device. You don't have to connect your smartphone or anything else to it in order to stream content from a wide variety of different services. You've got Samsung TV Plus on there which offers a huge selection of content including the likes of good old Teletubbies, how we love them. Stuff for everyone no matter what you're into, be it sports or dolphins. And if you are a subscriber to one of the many, many streaming services out there, chances are you'll find it on here. So you've got the likes of Prime Video from Amazon, you've got Disney Plus. And you can access all these just with a quick click up on the remote. And as you can see there, they're all neatly housed up at the top. Your Netflix, your Prime Video, Disney Plus, Apple TV. Good old YouTube, of course, my personal favourite. And these are just the ones that are pre-installed on the Freestyle as well. If you dive into the App Store, you'll find some more on here that you can grab as well. Neatly sorted into genres. Not much in the way of music and radio stuff at the moment unfortunately it is just Spotify on there which does come pre-installed but of course if you do want to expand the uh, support for the Samsung Freestyle all you've got to do is plug in your phone. And then back in the main menu you've got some more funky features tucked away in here like the ambient mode and as you might have guessed ambient mode allows you to project some sort of ambient scene onto your wall when you finally get tired of Teletubbies. So if it's someone's birthday you can get a neon style sign projected on the wall get the party really kicking off in style. Or alternatively you could project a fake window onto your wall with some stunning scenery so you can momentarily forget that you happen to live in Middlesbrough. Or if you fancy something a bit more trippy you can get a psychedelic prism effect on the go. Now if you want to start streaming from your smartphone instead that's nice and simple just dive into the casting feature there on your mobile device and you'll see the Samsung projector appears as one of the options in there. And there you have it a few seconds later you can mirror the content on your smartphone to stream to your surface of choice. 
And if you've got yourself a Samsung Galaxy smartphone where you can get something called Tap View on the go as well for even more seamless, quick and easy pairing up, all you need to do is dive into the Smart Things app, then go to Menu and Settings. And you'll see if you just scroll down a little bit, there's a Tap View option. Just make sure that is enabled. Then all you have to do is tap your phone against the back end of the Samsung Freestyle. The two will pair up. Or alternatively, if you wanted to get your laptop or whatever hooked up to the projector instead, you can do that using an HDMI cable. It's got to swap to the HDMI source and away you go. Again, just a nice, simple, easy way of sharing your screen. And I've got to say, I really, really love the bundled remote as well. One of the dinkiest remote controls I've ever clutched. It's got all of the functions that you would need. You've also got fast access to like some Netflix, Disney Plus and Prime Video on there too. Alternatively, just dive back on into that Samsung SmartThings app on your smartphone and you can use this as a fully fledged remote control as well. And this again has all the controls you need in order to skip through all of the various channels and apps and change the volume and whatever else you need. Now let's talk about the picture quality here on the Samsung Freestyle. And again, I was definitely impressed by this thing. It's a nice bright image. Even when I had quite a lot of my studio lights on, I could still clearly see what was going on. In fact, the Freestyle's output peaks at over 500 lumens, around 550 to be precise. So right now in the studio, I've got a couple of lights on just to illuminate my pasty mug. And yet that picture remains super, super clear. Those colours are still rich and poppy and vibrant, so this will really help with the overall portability of the Freestyle as well, as you can use it in all kinds of different environments. It's a full HD picture resolution, so you've got nice crisp visuals on there as well, even if you want to blow up that picture and make it fairly big. And for a projector as well, this produces quite punchy colours, I've got to say, so yeah, if you are enjoying a bit of that Teletubbies action, well, you'll be wowed by the extremely luminous arse on La La and Poe and all the rest of them. And yeah, you've got the built-in speaker here on the Samsung Freestyle as well, so you don't have to worry about hucking up your own sound system. It's got a 5-watt blaster built into it with two passive radiators. And this can produce 360-degree sound, which automatically adjusts to suit the environment that you are sat in. So whether you want to kick back with a movie or just blast some of your favourite tunes while you're getting on with some work or whatever, it'll do the job. And if you happen to think that controlling stuff with your fingers is very old school indeed, well, no worries, because the Samsung Freestyle has several Farfield mics built into that surface. You've got full voice assistant support as well. And yes, it is good old Samsung Bigsby by default, but you do have support for alternative assistants as well, like Alexa, if you prefer them. So when you want to take a bit of a bathroom break or go grab yourself a cold one at the fridge or whatever, you can just say, hey, Bigsby, pause the video. And there you go, absolutely no hands required. And there you have it, that in a nutshell is the Samsung Freestyle, a very cute and lovable dinky portable projector that works really well as a standalone streaming device, it's absolutely packed with features as well, so you can hook up to pretty much any device going. And if you want to learn more about the Samsung Freestyle, well, there'll be plenty of information and links down in the video description, so definitely go and give those a little bit of a poke to find out more. What do you reckon of the Samsung Freestyle though? It'd be great to hear your own thoughts down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech, and a massive thank you again to Samsung for sponsoring this hands-on tour of its new Freestyle projector. Till next time, see you later, love you.